All right, here we go. Big Daddy Shift, day 464 at 24 Fitness. So today, I was just uh, doing a little test thing on the whole intermittent fasting. So it's pretty close to 5 o'clock. I didn't eat it all day, but I feel pretty good. It's not like I feel like I'm starving and whatever, but I think I'm uh, doing something wrong. Well, let's see. Let me check in. So, you know, I... I I go through those days, it's like, okay, you know what, I know I gotta eat and then feed my body, all that kind of stuff, right? The thing is, I'm not really doing that much exercise on these days. I mean, I'm going on the bike, right? It's an hour on the bike and you do it. But you guys know as well as I do, it's, it's minimum. We're going like the, it's like we're paying the minimum payment on a, on a credit card, right? So it's not the, the most exciting. Well, let me get on this bike first. All right, let's go. Seventy-seven. So the whole thing about like the the eating thing, it's like you know I, I live most of my overweight life thinking like okay you gotta eat you gotta eat oh I'm feeling tired oh I need right so a lot of it's just eating out of boredom. And then sometimes, you know, you go, just like, you know, the other day, I went to a Korean barbecue, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, man, this is a horrible feeling, this is a horrible feeling, right? I'm never going to do it again, uh, right? But you do. But today, when I was doing those little videos in between, you know, like, classes and stuff, you know, I got to I gotta keep remembering that, like, you know, if you're not hungry, just don't eat, okay? Now, um... When, when I do do this stuff, I, I mean, it's not a whole longevity thing. I don't think, I don't think that's a good idea, but it's, it's like, I feel fine right now. And then while I feel fine when I'm not hungry, then I just don't eat. Now, if I did over the long term with this, then that's when you get like that, like frail type of skinny where you're like, you're your body shrinks but you know at this point yeah I don't mind my body shrinking you know I could say all I want it's like oh I need to feed my muscles and, you know but no it's not good so now it's like the whole process like people that are new to this the intermittent fasting is when you only eat within a certain time period and you basically fast for the rest of the day so a lot of people they do a eight hour time period where they eat so it's like if you eat breakfast at eight in the morning you could eat dinner or you could eat all the way until four o'clock and then you get to stop so four o'clock at night till eight in the morning it's like your fasting period and then so your body's burning food and stuff or yeah you're fat for 16 hours while your body is eating for eight hours some people they will eat for six hours and their body will be burning fat for 18 hours. You know, and then some are even more to hire that four hours, and then your body fasts for 20 hours, right? <coughs> there are different tricks to do it, like that whole bulletproof coffee thing where you drink coffee, butter, and coconut oil, and that stevia, and then it tricks your body thinking that you eat, ate a meal, but your fast doesn't break. So no breakfast, right? No break fast. But um, when I'm usually at my heaviest, I would eat like in the morning and eat till late night. So you're eating like, just say you eat breakfast at seven. And then later on, you eat, 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 or something. And then your last meal is like at nine o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night. So let's say at 10 o'clock. So seven to 10. That's eating for 15 hours. And then your body's only fasting for nine. So it doesn't give your body that much time to like burn off fat. But if you do the opposite, you eat for eight. And then burn, your body burns fat for 16. That's pretty awesome. So, uh... 
Yeah, I mean, I think it, it works only on a consistent basis. But I know today it's like, it's giving my body a chance to process all the foods I ate the last couple of days. Go to the bathroom, drink water, all that stuff, whatever, right? And then your body, it's like, it'll, it kind of cleans itself out. Now, people say like, oh, but if you eat that one big meal, it's going to ruin you. But what I've been told by numerous people is the whole little meals all day or one big meal, it's all the same. As long as you get your calories in, just say, you know, you're 20, 2,000 calories or whatever it is. Yeah, whether you're eating one meal or a bunch of small meals, same thing. But the danger of when you eat it in one big meal is that it's all you can eat all day. So if you start to eat little snacks here and there, then it's going to be more than your your uh, uh, your allotted calorie thing. But for me, I'm geared this way where sometimes I feel this. I just need me to eat, right? So yeah, probably after this, I'll have to eat something. I don't even know if I have to. I should just sacrifice to just drink a lot of water and go to sleep and just see what happens. But remember, when you do this stuff. It's easy to lose like maybe like five pounds in like two or three days. But then once that water weight goes off, then you're screwed. Cause then your body went to starvation mode and and uh, you can't lose any more weight. And then when you eat something, your body can't metabolize it. So if I did this right, I would eat a bunch of good calories for dinner, and that's it. And then do it again tomorrow, the next day, next day, next day, you know? And then so, this is going back to being true to the diet. I mean, you know, I had a chance to go to all those fast food places, which is convenient and fast, that's what they call it, fast food. And, uh, but I didn't. I, I just didn't want to do it. So I'm thinking of the whole, you know, I was, I told you this before, is this thing worth the effort that I have to go to the gym and exercise it off? So if the answer is no, I don't get it. So I don't go get a donut or a taco or whatever. You know, I try to eat as best I can. So the danger also is today when you don't have a plan on what you eat. I, I, I don't even know what I'm going to eat. It's like everything is going to start to sound really good in about one hour. And then so you're like, oh, what should I get? Should I get prime rib? Should I get, you know, in and out? Should I get whatever? No, it's, it's about being strong mentally. But the main thing is I will be allotted calories because I didn't eat any calories all day. Zero. Now, if I didn't exercise hard, so right now, this is this is borderline exercise, you guys know that. But just say I was just not exercising, just doing a really easy, like, you know, you sit around on your job all the time and I just don't burn calories much. Then doing these type of diets are fine because you're not using that much energy in the body. But to not feed yourself and just say you're an athlete or use your body for like, you know, your living, it's probably a bad idea because then you'll just wither away. You'll get like bone skinny and that doesn't look healthy either. So there's always a balance on stuff. But right now, it's technically day one of sticking with the intermittent fasting so I'm not gonna I'm gonna power through breakfast like don't eat see if I can go till the end of school and then yeah but if I really feel it like you know later in the week I have to pack some lunches and see so yeah I feel pretty good and this whole I know it's like a jumbled thing right now today, but I really don't care. I'm at the gym. I'm doing my stuff. And uh, to me, it makes sense. 
I know for you guys, it's like, oh, he's just talking, but it's, uh, uh, it's gonna work. It has to work. But I, but again, I'm proud of myself for not stopping by some place to eat a lot today when I didn't really exercise much, burn off calories. So on this, I'll burn about 400 calories for the hour. But, you know, maybe I'll go buy some cauliflower or something. Make some mashed cauliflower. That sounds good. Get a gallon of water. That sounds good. But, um, like I said, we'll see. We'll see. <sighs> Anyways, it's my whole intermittent fasting again. Maybe I'll get some weights in today. Let's see. All right, there you go. Day 464 in the books. Okay, I started doing the whole weight thing, but yes, that's exactly what I was doing, waiting, because there's tons of people in there. I know what I said. See you guys later. I know what I said before about like, oh yeah, you know, there's always some type of thing you could do in here that like, uh, yeah, to get some exercise in, but no, I mean, it's really packed. But I did make an effort, and so I know that that day's coming. Maybe I gotta go come back later and do it, right? I feel pretty good. I mean, the, the, the cardio went by really fast, and I felt pretty good doing the weight. So it looked like it was really easy, because, I don't know, I guess from not doing it for a long time, I guess my muscles felt a bit stronger and then like, so yeah, whatever, right? So, you know, I guess I should have probably just did another hour on the bike or something, but the thing is, yeah, I realized that going in the weights when it's super packed, yeah, pretty nuts. So, I don't know. Anyways, the whole intermittent fasting, yes. I'm still not hungry, so I feel pretty good. And, uh, uh, yeah, gonna go home. Probably relax and sleep early. I'm gonna try and sleep early today, so we'll see. All right, anyways, Big Daddy shit, day 464. If I get exercise 464 days in a row, you get exercise 464 days in a row. Because if I could do it, you could do it. And I'm doing it while I'm restarting my intermittent fasting. And uh, I'm doing pretty good at it, too. All right, anyways, I'll see you next time.